Today we're doing pedostatic system. <coughs> Start out. What three uh, instruments do I have in my pedostatic system? <coughs> All right, so we got my airspeed, altimeter, ESI. Okay. So first thing, I always like to keep things as simple as possible. People like to do these awesome intricate diagrams, and I'm just like. So I've got my uh, pedo tube, right? My ram air. It only goes to the airspeed indicator, obviously. Um, first question is, on a diamond star, is there a drain hole? No. Nope. No, there is not. So diamond products don't have drain holes. What's that? Nor on a katana. Nor on a katana, nor on a twin star. So diamond does not put drain holes. If you fly a Cessna, though, in the back of your pedo tube, there's a little hole in the back there where water gets shoved in that thing, it basically just drains out the bottom and gets shoved out. So, um, now the question then, does air actually flow through this line? No. Okay, so what actually happens? It's our pressure. It's pressure. I basically compress the line with air. So the water really can't get that far into the line. So Diamond kind of said, in di the way the diamonds are designed, it goes straight into that mast and then it basically goes straight up. So there's really not much opportunity for moisture to get in there. There are filters in the line under the seats. They have never found water in those filters. So Diamond just didn't see a uh, point in even doing the drain holes. So the question then, on my pedo mast, I've got one hole up here. I've got a little one here on the back and a little one on the bottom. These two are what? They're both static. I don't have an explanation for why. There's a lot of theories that people have come up with. But nonetheless, they did all of their tests and decided that they needed a static hole on the bottom also. So So that static hole, which on like a pipe or something is normally a drain hole, is in fact a static hole. Gotcha. You're catching on. <laughs> I did not know that. Yes. So basically, if we were to do it, we had huge questions about this. And so the mechanics actually took one apart and uh, looked into it and actually blew air down. And sure enough, they were all connected because we were like, what in the world? So basically, these two, that didn't even help. These two are your static line. And then you just have the one that goes as your ram air. Okay. Then we've got my static line. I always draw them separately. Yes, it's drawn like this in a diamond star, so we want to understand that. But I draw them separately because it keeps it separated, especially in a student's mind when you're teaching them. It keeps the two tubes or the two set sources of air separate. So then I've got my static that then goes to all of my instruments. Okay. I have one additional item. What's that? Alternate static. Okay. All right. So in IFR, obviously, we're concerned about getting clogs. What normally is going to cause a clog? Icing. Icing. So here's a question in our mighty diamond star. If I have to turn on my pedo heat, what else should I probably be doing? Leaving. Leaving. <laughs> because that means your wings are getting ice. So it's on there for emergency, but Really, that pedo heat should probably never need to be used by us, because we should not be in there. So why would you want to go into icing in a diamond star? Not certified. Not certified, it doesn't have any anti-icing. What else? Why not? Well, the gear's a problem. Okay, I got gear, that's going to collect a lot of ice. Wait, how powerful is my engine? Underpowered? Yes. You get into ice and that thing pretty much falls out of the sky, okay? It's not something to even flirt with. You'll hear like guys on the field, oh yeah, my 210, we go into ice all the time. We got like an inch of ice on the wings. Well, yeah, that airplane's also severely overpowered. Turbocharged engine, I don't even know what those produce. So when you listen to people telling those kind of stories, you've got to really take into perspective, one, they're stupid, and two, what are they flying? What are their capabilities of their aircraft? So. We just, we've had some people who have 
tried the capabilities of the Diamond Star, and all the stories are the same. I was at full throttle descending at 80 knots. Yep. So, all right. So here we go. First thing happens then. If I clog my ram air because of ice, probably the first one's going to be affected by ice. What happens? I'm going 90 knots. What happens to my airspeed? All right, it'll freeze at 90, and then it will begin to act as an altimeter, meaning it's going to go up when I go up and down when I go down. Okay? So as soon as I freeze that air in there, I'm done. Okay? What if I had a drain hole? What would happen? It would go to zero. It would go to zero. So it's important to point that out, even though we're training in a diamond star, you're giving them an instrument rating, okay? Not a diamond star rating. So pointing out to them that you may see your airspeed drop to zero, or you may see it freeze, one or the other. So, and it all depends too, because if I've got, if I'm flying in freezing rain, where does freezing rain freeze? On the back. On the back. Where does freezing rain freeze? So freezing rain will actually hit like a pitot tube or something, and it'll actually start freezing in the back first and move its way forward. So it does that on your windscreen, it'll start freezing at the top, and then it starts coming down. So that is a situation that you could have the, the uh, drain hole block first if you had a drain hole. So it is possible. Okay, from there, this is where we can actually draw out what our, uh, what our instruments, I guess, look like if we were to draw them out. <coughs> so I've got my three instruments. If we understand how they all work, it's a lot easier. So an airspeed indicator basically has a diaphragm that's filled up with air from where? Okay. You know, the rest of the chamber is full of static, static air. Okay. So if I effectively have blocked this off, I've sealed this chamber off, what have I turned it into? An altimeter. An altimeter is nothing more than a pre-sealed wafer at the factory, and all I've got is static air that comes in and out of it. So I effectively turned it into an altimeter. Okay. Will a clogged ram air affect any other instruments? Yes. 